what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. I'm out here on the trail. We're right here. Whew. And it's a little bit different than what I had anticipated it would be. But we're making the best out of it that we can do. And that's really what is important. You make the best out of your day, you get the most out of your day, and make it work for you. Okay. So, this one, it's my sisters. Sisters, we got to do better. We got to do better. So, we're in this holiday season. And I've had not one, but two associates of mine call me this weekend. This long, this weekend. With crazy stories of things they are doing to maintain unhealthy relationships. They are both dealing with men that are not worthy of their time. But until these females realize that these men are not worthy, they will continue to waste their time. That's really what it is. Sorry if I sound a little out of breath. I'm going up this hill, you know, as we tend to do out here in nature and all these different things. So... We're going up and down hills, but I want to talk about this because it's just been rambling my mind. I'm like, I guess because it's the season, it's cuffing season, folks trying to cuff folks. But then, how good is it if you're cuffing the wrong people? Huh. So, I had one friend call me up a couple days ago, talking about this guy that she'd been with, and he was acting a little suspicious. So, listen to this, y'all. This girl, highly educated, has a master's degree, beautiful features. She's tall, about 6'1". She favors a younger Tyra Banks. Gorgeous girl. But lacks self-confidence. Lacks self-worth. Lacks self-love. This y'all, had her own place. Her own place. Own car, own setup. She's a full time teacher. She calls me to tell me that she just went through his trash can and she thinks that he's cheating because of the food. He's allergic to, to seafood. And apparently there was some some shrimp fried rice or something. And she know he don't eat that. He's the first one to say he don't eat it. And so she know he cheated, but she called me. And like I said, I don't know why I always have to be the acquaintance. Uh, not the acquaintance, the accomplice in the situation. Why, why do people want to make me the accomplice? So she called me about what she should do. I said, you did what? And she, yeah, she went through again and told me what exactly she did and what she found and all this. I said, if you got to do all of that to be in a relationship with somebody, you probably don't even be in, in a relationship. You probably don't need to. You probably need that none. Because if you got to do all of that, if a person can't be out front and honest with you, they're not the person for you. That's just, that's just the God honest truth. And so she argued with me back and forth. I said, you know what? Live your life. Do what you got to do. Now, wasn't that I hear from her again ever in life? It is what it is, but because I didn't co-sign with her, I became the enemy, public enemy number one. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. I'm I'm a creative person. I come up with stuff all the time, but I could never come up with nothing like this. It just hurts my heart to see my sisters out here, my women out here, just, I don't know. Standards are low expectations are low and they're just willing to just take anything. They are willing to have a piece of a man and to lose their doggone marbles because some of these men just ain't doing right. Isn't it crazy how much we pay for new brand name clothes? 
Over 14 million tons of textiles are wasted each year. Shopping secondhand, Swap.com helps prevent textile waste from polluting the environment. Swap.com is the world's largest online consignment and thrift store. With Swap.com, you can save up to 90% off retail price for your favorite brands like Lululemon, Carter's, Nike, J. Crew, and Gap. Between six to 10,000 new items are added daily. If something doesn't fit, enjoy hassle-free returns within 30 days, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Shop Swap.com and use promo code AshSaid40 for your 40% off today. So jumping into the second scenario, had another acquaintance because I have to say acquaintance because no friends of mine would do such foolishness. I just, I'm just shaking my head because I'm like, you are allowing yourself to be in these situations. You have control to say what you will and won't put up with. Now, if you're putting up with some foolishness, then you're saying it's okay. And it will continue. But until you put your foot down and set a standard, there will be no standard. And it won't matter. So, second chick calls me up this morning. (sighs) This lady, let me build her story a little bit. Works a retail gig has multiple children with multiple fathers. Beautiful still, but you would not be able to tell she is this breed of crazy just by looking at her. You're like, no, no, she's normal. She's like everybody else. No, no, this one here, new breed. Brand new breed of woman. Brand new, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Never seen nothing like this before, so. This chick calls me up early this morning. When I say early, 2.30 a.m. This dude that she's been dating for a while. And he did something to make her think that he's cheating. So, while he's on the graveyard shift at his job, she gets the spare key that she made without his knowledge. Which I tell you is breaking and entering. She gets the spare key that she made without his knowledge and enters his apartment and decides to call me up to talk about it and, and ask me what I think. Or what, I don't know why. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs is hitting me up. And I said, once I said, look, um, okay, you do realize that if somebody sees you, or somebody realizes that you're in that place and they call the police, they can arrest you because you're breaking and entering. You're not a resident of that apartment. So you sitting up there doing that, that's not going to help your case. That's not going to look good. Your kids can't bail you out of jail. I can't make this stuff up. I can't. And so she's not really listening to me, going through stuff, looking for clues. I don't know what she's looking for. And when you go looking for stuff, you usually will find something. You usually will find something because you're, you're not looking for nothing. You're looking for a purpose. You're looking for a reason. And as she continued to search, I said, look, I'm done. And I hung up the phone. Because I can't deal with the foolishness. I can't deal with it. You're not wanting to listen. Fine, go to jail. Go to jail because that's what's gonna happen to your crazy behind. Go to jail. Go now. Get. And so I just wanted to vent about that this Thanksgiving Day weekend. I am thankful that I'm not that cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I know I'm off. I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm not. There's several screws missing from my head. But I ain't going through nobody trash. And I damn sure I'm not going through somebody's apartment to get pulled up on some breaking and entering charges. Two things. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. And we just, I don't even know. We got to do better, but I don't even know how to get some of my counterparts to think better. And to love themselves because it's just really just getting out of control. And I just, I, I don't even know. Can't make this stuff up. 
I can't. Like, I, I could try to fabricate some stories. It wouldn't even be believable. Me saying these stories out loud now still seem kind of off. And this is why I change my number so often. This is why I block people on email. Because when they start doing stupid stuff, this is stupid, stupid stuff. When they start doing stupid stuff, that's when I just kind of, I fall back and I get ghost real quick. <laughs> real, real quick. So that's the story. But <laughs> otherwise, I hope that y'all are having a great weekend. That you're chilling now. You're eating some good old leftovers, all that good stuff. And continue to push forward. The takeover is happening. It's not a matter of if. The takeover is real. It is so real. But um, <laughs> I love you out of pieces. Keep doing what you do. Anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice. It's cool. It's fun. But real life, whew, real life is so much better, baby. It's so much better. I'll holler at y'all. Be easy.